Ismail Araj is one of the last artisans in the world who still makes parchment completely by hand. The 92-year-old spends one hour scraping every single piece of hair off a sheepskin. It can take a month to make one of the most durable canvases in the world. But this art nearly disappeared when mass-produced paper became a cheaper and faster alternative. And Ismail has struggled for years to find apprentices to train. We went to Bergama in western Turkey to learn how this ancient craft is still standing. Ismail buys sheep and goatskins from a local warehouse. After doing it for 70 years, he can spot high-quality ones quickly. He puts on his work clothes, tough boots, and a homespun nylon apron and begins the day. This was once a popular area for tanneries, but now only Ismail's stone workshop has survived. He knew he was interested in making parchment since he was just six years old. He remembers leather tanners and parchment makers cleaning their hides near his home. He started his career as a leather tanner too. Many of the skills he learned helped him master parchment making. First, he uses a pump to wash the skins. He hangs the hides for 10 minutes before soaking them in lime water. The calcium hydroxide breaks down the hair and excess fat. The chemicals are harsh on human skin, but Ismail never wears gloves. The hides soak for five days. He has to be careful not to leave them in for too long. This block of wood helps Ismail keep the hides in place as he cleans. Scraping the hair off is the most physically demanding part of the job. The curved knife called a cavaleta is extremely sharp, so he has to be precise to avoid damaging the skin. Ismail bends and scrapes both sides of the hide to get it as smooth as possible. For years, he did this work alone. It was not easy to find an apprentice willing to follow in his footsteps. Ismail nails the hide into a wooden board to stretch and dry. These nails are as old as he is. He leaves the hides to dry for up to five days. Parchment was first used over 2,000 years ago. It was invented in the ancient Greek city of Pergamum and became the main writing material across Europe by the Middle Ages. 
its durability made it ideal for manuscripts, such as the Dead Sea Scrolls, the Magna Carta, and the Constitution of the United States. Early Christian monks wrote religious texts and formal documents on it. But gradually, paper took over as it became easier and cheaper to mass-produce. By the 15th century, scribes all over Europe had mostly switched to paper. The market for parchment dwindled, and in the following centuries, it never recovered. Ismail says many stopped making parchment altogether in his lifetime. But his passion for the craft kept him going. He's sold parchment to tourists and relied on leather sales to stay afloat. In 2006, he partnered with the Bergama Culture and Art Foundation to open the city's only parchment store, Bergaman Parchment. His reputation as a master parchment maker is what attracted local artists like Meltem Demerel and her husband Sinan. The couple started out working in the store, painting, cutting and packaging parchment for sale. Eventually, Ismail took them under his wing and accepted them as apprentices. E, i̇şin içine girdikten sonra zorluğunu öğreniyorsun. Ama sabrın sonunda da iş daha da güzelleşiyor. Aynı zamanda bir terapi gibi. Parşömen aynı zamanda ölümsüz bir kağıt. Parşömenin üzerine ne yazarsanız yazın kalır. Yani vardır ya bir söz, hani söz uçar, yazı kalır. Today, Meltem is also a master. But the couple still values Ismail's guidance. Now they both run the shop by themselves. But just like Ismail did before them, the couple has struggled to find young people interested in learning the craft. Ertesi gün yok çocuk. E ne oldu? Çok pis, çok kokulu diyorlar, gelmiyorlar. Tabii ki kokacak yani. Burası bir lavanta bahçesi değil. Burası parşömen evi. Other than that, Meltem says business is going well. They work with government agencies that still use parchment paper for official records. And they ship it to customers all over the world. But their main clients live in the city. Clients like Fatima Kayala, who started using the material for her artwork 30 years ago. Today, she gets her parchment exclusively from Meltem and Sinan. Parşaman e, milli kağıdımız. Bizim sanatımızla buluşması ona bence ekstra bir değer katıyor diye düşünüyorum çünkü. Fatma showcases her work depicting scenes from nature at exhibits around the world. Emekle sevgiyle yapılmış işlerin ölümsüz olduğunu düşünüyorum. Çünkü doğada hiçbir şey kaybolmuyor aslında. Her şeyin bir dönüşüm hikayesi var. The physically demanding nature of parchment making became too difficult for Ismail. And in 2020, he had to stop working full time. But Meltem and Sinan are determined to pick up where he left off. Bir kağıda can veriyorsun. Tarih milattan önce bulunan bir kağıdı tekrar yaşatmaya çalışıyorsun. The couple is now teaching the history of parchment at schools and through workshops to younger children. 10 sene sonra, 15 sene sonra o çocuklar bize gelecek. Çıraklar yetiştirmeye başlayacağız ileride inşallah. Umutluyum. Parşömenin geleceği ile ilgili çok büyük planlarımız var. As a smile nears 100, he's focused on the legacy of the craft in Bergama. And he's confident he's left it in the right hands. Ben huzurlu oluyorum. Ha diyorum, dilim diyorum, öğrendim sanatı almışlar diyorum. Anya'dan, Konya'dan değil, gene İsmail'den aldılar. Hi, this is the Still Standing team. Over the past year, we've met artisans from around the world who preserve traditional methods and techniques, like preparing soy sauce in Japan, cleaning leather in Morocco, 
and making the perfect mirrors in India. If you enjoy our videos, please like and subscribe to see more stories about the people keeping centuries-old traditions alive. And if you have an idea for a video you'd like to see, let us know in the comments. Thank you.